Hi guys, so here's something you might find interesting if you've got an HTPC like me and somewhere in your house and it's running, in this case, Windows. Um, why not consider building your own ambient lighting to go behind your TV? Actually, I've been surprised at how well this has been received by my family. They absolutely love the lighting effects while they're watching TV and um, I think they really add something to the experience. I want to show you how I made mine. It's a really cheap and fun project for people who are interested in that kind of thing. Okay, and you can see mine operating here on our lounge TV. The daylight and the other stuff probably doesn't do it full justice, but uh, certainly in the evenings when we're watching films and stuff, it's absolutely brilliant. It works for all of the applications on my PC, as you'll see. So the question is, um, what do you need to do this and how do you go about doing it? In this video, I'll show you where to find the detailed instructions on how to build your own system and what I did to make mine. Here's the nasty little drawing I started off with. Here's the practice piece of wood I used to test my setup. I used cable ties to secure my LEDs to a wooden frame that I built myself using a few bits of wood. Um, it's going to be behind the TV, so no one's ever going to see it. Here's the Arduino Uno microprocessor that uh, I got to power the lights. You can see the lights here are under test, connected by a USB cable back to my HTPC. It's powered by a laptop power supply I bought off eBay. And here's basically a display of it under test. This was me trying to get things set up and working. The software side in some ways is more awkward than the hardware. Here are the lights on their wooden frame behind the TV, um, invisible to the eye from the front, obviously. This is one of my HTPCs booting straight into Kodi. It runs Windows 10. What you can see there is the lights initiating themselves. A lot of the time the effect is quite subtle, but obviously it depends on the nature of the video that you're showing. Here I just wanted to show you a little bit of live TV from my live TV server, showing the lights in action, and you can see the color variation around the edge of the screen matching, hopefully, what's going on on the screen. Um, it's obviously the intensity, I can turn the intensity up, but I found, and we found generally, that you want it to be slightly more subtle than too obvious, otherwise it becomes a distraction. Anyway, I wanted to show you some live TV. Here I'm just going to open up the Windows 10 control software um, that I use to control the lights, and uh, it's called Ambibot. It's a free software but obviously you can make a donation. This sequence shows the 50 segments of screen that are monitored by the Ambibox software to generate the lighting effects based on whatever's on the screen. In the next sequence, let's go and let me show you where the website is, where you can download the Ambibox software for free. So if you just type into Google, straightforward search which is Ambibox Windows 10 similar take you to the Ambibox website which is Ambibox RU I think is right here you can see that it supports Ada Lite, which is the type of um, firmware that I'm using in the microcontroller the Arduino Uno I showed you earlier this is the download link the latest uh, at the time of this video the latest version is 2.1.7 So this project obviously, um, as I mentioned, uh, depending on the more colourful the video, the more dramatic the effect is. This is a particularly colourful video for which I have muted the music because I don't want to get my YouTube video taken offline. Okay, and um, basically uh, I think the thing I would say to people who want to attempt this is that it's not hard to do, but you do need to be prepared to do some configuring, uploading and downloading software to your um, Arduino, Arduino Uno, sorry, and um, configuring your software on Windows, but it is not hard to do if you're at all technically minded, and it's a bit of fun. The total build cost for my light setup, including all the wood and everything, I think was about £60, so it's not a lot of money. I guess that's about 80 to 100 US dollars. So it's something that you could take a risk on and have a go at just for fun. This is me showing you um, where to find the um, instructions 
And the reason I'm not including instructions in this video on how to build the system is they are produced so well by the Adafruit website. Now they do sell a light pack that you can buy which will basically give you all the equipment that you need. I chose to buy my equipment individually on eBay which um, you know the LED lights and the microcontroller and stuff this is not expensive equipment but if you want to make it simple for yourself you could just buy the DIY pack. But linked here is a link to the tutorial that takes you through in detail how to create your lighting system, what equipment to buy, there's the Arduino Uno that I used, how to install the processing software in the Arduino Uno which you only do once and once it's set up it should just work, what kind of LEDs to use and it takes you through all the software setup and everything up to the point where you're ready to install Ambibox. Um, so really if you can follow instructions and are technically and PC minded you can have a go at this and have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, well, listen, I'm not going to go into a lot more detail about this. I was in two minds about whether to put this video up, actually, because it doesn't really follow the usual kinds of things that I put on my site. But I had a lot of fun creating my Ambilight setup. And I think some other people who look at my web, my YouTube channel might also feel the same way. So good luck. And if you want to have a go at it, I can re recommend it's a lot of fun. And it will enhance your video viewing and TV viewing experience. If you've already got an HTPC, you need to spend very little money at all getting this set up. Cheers then.